in the past year or two, they have actually linked hotter temperatures to bacteria becoming more resistant to antibiotics, which is something that scares all of us in medicine. And if you thought summer 2020 was hot, new research from the Canadian government shows that by the end of this century, things could look drastically different. They're estimating it could be six degrees Celsius warmer on average, which when you think about that that is the average temperature, it also then means that the extremes of temperature will be worse, which means that the heat waves are kind of when we all experience enormous heat that is unbearable for all of us, that that will even be hotter than what we experience now. Regular summer daytime highs in the 40s are possible, and that could put extreme heat waves close to or exceeding 50 degrees Celsius. If we live like this, Canadians will face increased problems involving lungs, heart, liver, and kidneys. Heat stroke will be more common. Could potentially even be at increased risk um, to die sooner than theoretically they would have otherwise if they hadn't suffered heat stroke. Heat and health have a very strong link. And as we experience more heat waves, new medical issues are appearing. Students having a harder time thinking if they're in non-air conditioned buildings. It's also been linked to potentially if mothers are exposed to hotter temperatures, they found an increased rate of infants with congenital heart problems. And it's also been linked to worsening mental health problems and potentially increased suicide. And Canadians are already feeling the effects of extreme heat. For example, the heat wave of 2018 in Quebec was responsible for up to 70 deaths. However, our summers do not have to worsen. Instead, we must find a path towards sustainability. Some suggested ideas are to consider switching to an electric car, use active transport like biking or walking, minimize energy use, and understand the benefits of solar or wind power. We are not locked into this, that we have the responsibility that we're alive at this point in time where what we do today can make a difference in 2100.